One way to get 3D assets is by creating scans out of real objects. In this video, I'm gonna use an app called Clone, that's spelled Q-L-O-N-E, to do a scan of an object. These are some examples as seen on the App Store. I don't think we're gonna get something quite as nice. You'll see the final product at the end of the video. I'm using my iPhone for this, but you could also use an iPad. You can make a scan using a mat or without a mat. I find I get better results when I use a mat. So I'm gonna do a 3D scan of this little rubber ducky. Uh, what you'll do is situate the item on the mat and then you open up the app and you just kinda need to move all the way around the object. Uh, you can see this dome-like structure and you kinda need to position your phone so that all those little polygons uh, are knocked out and so that uh, you can see in the bottom right corner you're getting uh, some a progress on sort of the geometry um, being rendered now this is using a process called photogrammetry using photos uh, stitched together from different angles to get this depth information you know this can take some time um, I have found that um, the results will really vary depending on lighting. Uh, you know, if you don't want really harsh lights on it. Um, there is an option to scan this uh, more than once, and I think that when you do more than one scan, it tends to come out a little better. Um, sometimes it's just kind of luck of the draw, and I just get better results, um, and I try to troubleshoot it. Again, this isn't a perfect tool, but I think for something that's um, a few dollars on the App Store and something you can use on your phone or mobile device, uh, tablet, uh, it's pretty nice to have. I, I don't know if this is production ready, uh, but if you are just trying to prototype some things or maybe uh, you're just trying to get you know, into working in 3D, um, you can see some results. Speaking of results, it looks like the scan has been finished and now it's kind of processing all those images and trying to figure out the geometry of this object. And, you know, it's gonna process. I can already see there's some areas that look a little bit sloppy. Um, again, there are options to reposition and scan again. So here's the final rubber duck and you can see it's a, l a little bit lumpy. Um, it's not perfect and there's some where the edges meet the floor, I think there's some, some issues. Um, it's, you know, maybe the, the texture's a little blurry, but it is a 3D object. We can take it and export it. Um, from here, you can go and actually view it in AR if you wanted to, or hit this button and you can export to a number of 3D formats. Um, so again, not the best result, but something quick and easy. We can even go to low poly to get uh, something from there. And again, just another way to make 3D forms.